Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu continues to be under pressure by the international community to make peace with the Palestinians. The European Union has had representatives in and out of this country, as well as the United States recently attempting to get the Israelis and the Palestinians back to the peace table. How many times has this happened over the years? Do we have peace? Are we any closer to peace? No. And who is Israel going to make peace with? Fatah? Hamas? But then again, this is the Palestinians. And then again, we don't know who Israel's to make peace with. And then again, if you look at the Middle East, there isn't a country in the Middle East that truly knows what peace is. As supporters of the nation of Israel, we must stand up against the international effort to delegitimize the state of Israel. We're seeing a tsunami of public opinion building against Israel. So this is a time and an opportunity for us to come public boldly with the truth about the situation that does exist here in the nation of Israel. I even talked to a member of the Israeli embassy in Washington, D.C. a few years ago and explained uh, that you have a biblical right to this land. Why are you involved in the peace process? He said, well, Bill, he said, there's a biblical perspective and there's also a practical perspective. And the government of Israel prefers the practical. Well, the practical hasn't brought peace to Israel and the practical has led to the borders of Israel being the most insecure ever. So we do know that eventually there will be a peace deal as spoken of in Daniel 9:27. It will be a short-lived peace deal and it will lead up to the final battle for Jerusalem, which is Armageddon.